Hi everyone, welcome back. I hope you are well. Today I'm filming a what's in my wheelchair bag for a Disney park day. I have been requested to do this and I also thought that it would be quite useful for you to see what kind of bags I used when we were at the parks and what things I put in them as if it's your first time visiting the parks, you may pick up some tips and tricks along the way as to what I took. Now the bags that I used while we were away and that I use in my everyday life are the Pika Paka. And if you are an OG watcher, then you know what a Pika Paka is because I filmed a video all about it here. What is it? I hear you cry. Well, it's a wheelchair bag. And I absolutely love these bags. They have been designed especially to fit on wheelchairs. No hacks involved. This is a bag for a wheelchair. And just to be completely transparent, this video has been sponsored by Geek Backer for me to show you the new products that they have out. This is the front large Pika Baka, which you will have seen in my previous video, but they have bought out two new sizes. You're gonna love these. This size, oh, it's so cute though. I love it. Look at that, it's exactly the same as the larger one, just a miniature version. So it's got all of the little pouches in there, slips under your wheelchair like that behind your knees. And then they bought out this one. Oh. <laughs> and again, just slips under your wheelchair cushion like so. To install, so just take off your wheelchair cushion like so, and you see how you have your Velcro on there. Well, on the back of the little slide, you can just slide it on to the Velcro on your seat canvas and if you don't have your velcro in the right place then on the website they do sell vel velcro um, sticky pads that you can stick on to the canvas and I also show this in my previous video on the pick pack so this is how I use these two bags together you could just use one or the other but I found it really useful using them together and then that's it it's done it's on and then you can just put your seat cushion back on. I also love the fact that these bags just have a Velcro fastening. There's no fiddly zips to worry about and there's no buttons or poppers or anything. So you can just crunch it open and just all of the information on the Pika Packers is linked down below and there's a link to their website as well. So make sure you go and check them out. Okay, so today we are at Hollywood Studios and again, I have got this combo. I have got the little Pika Pack and I have got this one. We're gonna be watching lots of shows. So I'm gonna be having to swap my glasses over. So I've got my glasses in this one. and some hand sanitizer and sunscreen in this little one. So it's really handy for me to get to when I know where everything is. Well, quick, we're gonna see some stormtroopers now. I have to use prescription sunglasses and then have a spare pair of glasses for when I go inside and these, this was amazing because I could put my glasses case in here and then I could swap my glasses in really easily if we were jumping on a ride or watching a show. Okay, Beauty and the Beast show. Yeah, I'm just Let's hit it. Let's hit it. Let's go. Here we go. This is Jim's like every five minutes. He's got a nose in the mat. Stop. We walk. Stop. Walk. Stop. Walk. Stop. Here we go. Beauty and the Beast. Oh, there's, there's sign language available. 
I've been putting the guide map in my little pick pack so it's easy to get to because before I was just putting it under my leg or behind my back but my god it's so hot and I'm getting so sweaty and the maps are getting ruined. I still used my big one for some days during the parks and I also used this one at the airport. It's just got that little bit of extra room where you can put a water bottle in or some extra items like a book or an iPad. Can you get my phone from my picker packer? Maybe it's not in there. Ah. Uh, thank you. But for the days going round, like the Magic Kingdom, Epcot, and Hollywood Studios, and Animal Kingdom, this bag was fantastic. I loved it because everything was compact, and even though it is quite small looks quite small you can actually fit a lot in here which you're about to see I'm going to show you exactly what I took in the park in just a moment okay so I am using the mini pick pack today and I have been loving it so it's best outing and I'll show you what I have got in there today so very handy I have just got my phone in that little pouch I have some sunscreen like there's actually deceptively a lot of room in it. There's a full bottle of sunscreen there. And then I've got my wallet. And then in this little like pen compartment, I have got my SPF lip balm. Also, another great use for this one would be for children's wheelchairs as well. Um, it's just that little bit smaller, so it would fit perfectly under there. Now, if you don't know much about the Pikapaka, it is actually a German brand, and it's a German word. Pikapaka means really stuffed or really full. So I hope I'm saying it right, I'm not too sure, but I have asked some of my German friends, and I think that's how it's pronounced. What I love about these is that they come super fast and free. Who hates paying for delivery? Thumbs up if you hate paying for delivery. So I absolutely love my Pika Baka. I have been using this one since January and as you can see, it is still in amazing condition. It's been on my wheelchair, under my wheelchair quite a lot. There's no fraying, nothing's tearing, nothing is breaking. These are really good, durable quality. They're also really easy to clean. What I like about them is that they are black, so it kind of um, blends in with the upholstery on my wheelchair. So they are very, very concealed. So it keeps, you know, it'd be very tricky for someone to actually kind of steal anything from your wheelchair. And they're quite hard to see. What I love is it actually gives me independence. I don't have to have any clunky bags on the back. One, two, carry on, citizen. Go. Step this way. Come forward. <laughs> we believe you've been conspiring with the resistance. Is yeah. that true? That's good. Stay out of trouble. Your identity calls for verification. Nice imaging unit. On my lap. I can get on with wheeling and enjoy the day. That was actually really scary. I kind of had a bit of a fear of like this. <laughs> yeah. And he spoke to me as well. I was like, no. <laughs> I kind of didn't even know what he was talking about because I don't really know. The resistance. Because he knew Daisy was a spy from the last one, remember? Oh. They are actually thinking of making some of these bags in different fabrics. So jazzing up the colours so that they are a bit more personalised. If you have any suggestions as to what sort of colours or fabrics or patterns you would like to see, then please feel free to drop them down below. What I love about these bags is that they fit to almost all wheelchairs, power wheelchairs and manual wheelchairs. While I was at uh, Hollywood Studios, I bumped into Glenn, who is a blogger on wheelchairdaddy.com. There you go, the picker pack. <laughs> Thank you. They're really handy, aren't they? He loves his pick back. He uses an electric wheelchair and he had his while he was going around the parks as well. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to show you exactly what I took into the parks, how I used my bags, and you can have a little look inside the bags at all of the organised compartments. 
So the first thing that was really, really useful, as I have said before, is the glasses case to go into this little pouch. So the last couple of times that I rode Flight of Passage, I had to wear my sunglasses because they're prescription and I forgot my glasses. But this time, I'm gonna be able to see because I've got my actual glasses. I've gone for the little pick pack, and then in, my, in this little one here, I have put my glasses. So they're really handy to get to really quickly when you're rushing to get on the rides. I guess if you wanted to use this one on your own, you could put your glasses in there, a phone and your keys, maybe a wallet or something like that. But I personally just put my glasses in there and there was enough room for Daisy's ones as well. Always, always handy to have a pen because you never know who you're gonna bump into at Disney World. Mm -hmm. She's got all shy. Roses were my favorite flower. She actually has a really beautiful garden. You have to come by and see it sometime. That's the biggest smile I've seen all day, Daisy. Let's have a look at that baby. I just did a love heart. <gasps> How good was that? I know they're so good and so in character. It was like, oh, it was really magical. So now what I love about this is that there is actually a pen holder in the side here. So I can just slip in a pen in that, that goes. I always packed some sunscreen. This is a 200 mil sunscreen. So that's quite large and it fits in there. So that shows you how big the small bag actually is. Wallet. Now, sometimes I packed a little wallet. This is my travel wallet. Um, but we had our magic bands. Uh, but these are the magic bands to get into the park as well. And we were on the dining plan, which I cannot speak highly enough of. I've been boring my family to death about the dining plan. We absolutely loved it. And we really didn't need that much money when we were in the parks, only for merch. So some days I didn't even need to take my wallet, obviously, your phone, because you want to take some photos and videos. Also, um, there's the My Disney Experience app. So that will show you where you've booked your fast passes, when your next fast pass is due, and also your DAS pass, your disability access pass, will show up on your My Disney Experience app. Little tip for you, take a screenshot of each time your fast pass is so you don't have to keep reloading the app because that drains a lot of battery. What I love about this is that the phone can actually go in one of the pouches here in the back there. So it's all nice and organized. And as I mentioned about phone battery, you can always take a USB charger. They do have um, USB charging points in the parks. Spare battery pack if you're taking a digital camera or a DSLR. And sanitizers. So these are sanitizing wipes, which are really great because you can wipe down surfaces. Sometimes in the fast food restaurants, it can seem a little sticky. So you may want to sort of like wipe down your table or your tray, or you can take hand sanitizing gel as well, which I highly recommend because you know, for us being um, disabled, it can be quite hard to get to toilets and it's a right old palaver. So it's really great to have some wet wipes, antibacterial wet wipes, handy. Medications, pain medications. Band-Aids, you don't know who's gonna get a blister, cut their um, finger, and I am a mummy, so I've always got my Band-Aids on hand. So, <laughs> we were so lucky. I think it rained once while I was on the rock and roller coaster. Daisy, it's raining, mummy's missing it. It can downpour in Florida, and you can get absolutely soaked. So you may want to take a poncho, so yeah, it's always a good idea to have a poncho guide map. <laughs> we got so blown away by all the beauty in the parks and we were just so amazed that we were there. We would find ourselves wandering deeper and deeper into the parks and we'd get there and we'd be like, uh, where are we going? <laughs> we need a map. So always get a map when you enter the park straight away and they can be stored in there and then they don't get lost because everyone's always like, who's got the map? You've got the map. No, you had the map. No, I had the map. Who got the map? Oh, the map is in the peek -a -pack. Lipstick. 
or an SPF lip balm because the sun is strong. And again, on the sides, there is like a thinner place for things like tampons or pens or a lipstick. As you can see, it all fits in there relatively nicely and you don't have to worry about it, it's all really easy to get to and as you can see that is quite a lot of stuff. Everything that you will need for a Disney day. Okay, so I think I have covered all of my tips and tricks as to what I took into the Disney parks. I would love to know if I've left anything out that you think would be really useful for people to see in the comments. What's your number one go-to must-have that you take on days out with you? Not necessarily to Disney. Uh, I would love to know. If you have any questions, be sure to shoot them down below. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Make sure to give it a thumbs up and also subscribe because the next one woo, is it a doozy <laughs> we're going to be doing a transferring video i am going to be showing you lots of the disney rides how i transferred on and off and how easily or how difficult i found the rides to be so make sure to subscribe for that one thank you so much for your support and i look forward to seeing you in my next one bye